my name is Axie. I'm an intern at the Indiana Department of Correction, and we are at Pendleton Correctional Facility. We heard they have a cat room, so we're gonna go in and check it out. So we'll see you on the other side. My name is Anthony LaRussa, and I've been with the Ford program since 2000, in late 2017, early 2018. And then what did you say the program was called? It's Ford program. Uh, Ford program has been around since 2015, and uh, we've uh, won two awards. You know, Ford program with the Cat Sanctuary is, you know, these are cats that are just, that might be abandoned, abused, just feral, just left on the streets or whatever and they're brought here for us to rehabilitate them as well as we're rehabilitating ourselves. You know, it's a dual thing, like, I come in here, I'm incarcerated, I start off with 40 years, and I come in here, you know, I was lost. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was kind of like in depression. And then I just happened to meet a couple guys and, you know, I started volunteering, helping Ms. Reinhardt like cleaning, and uh, she gave me a job and with the job that I had was the detail. I wasn't even hired straight for here. I was just a hallway detail. And I was coming in here and she was like, would you like to work in there? I'm like, uh, sure, you know what I mean? Like I've never had a cat. I wasn't a cat person really. I'm like, sure, I'll try it. And here I am today, five, five six interviews later, you know what I mean, I'm still doing it. Yeah, I created a cat count for them and stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. So you just check on them every check day? Check on them every day, make sure that every cat's here. And then... Uh, are they? Are there some cats that get out? There's two cats that go out and, and run the yard, so we just make sure that they're out there. Then I have this, I created a binder for them. So every cat, here's your monthlies. They get weighed, we weigh them every month. And uh, we'll make sure we, we have that. Or when like somebody asks like how much does your cat weigh this is what how much it weighs and then we have the the cats you know stuff you got their name a picture of what the cat looks like you take it and then this is what kind of cat it is and it tells you if it was like a dh dsh means the breed is domestic short hair and they'll tell you the color of it and stuff like that. So every cat in here has that. And then we go down, we'll go in there and check exactly what we did every month for it. So, so this is like super organized. Yeah, yeah. I have a problem, I think. You got a whole binder. <laughs> every cat has kind of tried to create everything in here. Like I said, there's guys that's helped me and stuff like that, but I've kind of been the main one. And then are you here all day with them? Uh, to, to about count time, and then normally I'll leave, and then I'll come back about 1. one whenever count clears, I'll come back, and then I'll stay to about 3 o'clock. And then I'll have everything everything put to where they don't need, need anything. Unless we have like a sick cat or a hurt cat, I won't come over here during the night. They got cameras that, you know, that it's live. They can watch them. But if I got a sick cat or a hurt cat or anything that I have to come and check on, I'll come, you know, a couple hours throughout the night just to check on them and stuff like that. That's cool, and every that everybody's pretty understanding. Yeah, the facility, uh, like I, I got a good report uh, to where, you know, like if I say, hey, like they already know, they'll have emails sent out, like, hey, this, he needs to go check on this cat every couple hours just because this cat's sick, needs to give him his medicine, needs to give her her medicine and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, they, they got an understanding of like, hey, like, you know, the staff will come over here with me. They'll hang out while I do what I got to do with the cats, you know, to make sure they're okay. I'm pretty passionate about it. I really enjoy it. Uh, I love the cats. Like you said, not a lot of people that's incarcerated is going to sit here and write cat bios. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so I think I, I kind of showed, you know, that initiative, like, hey, I really enjoy being with these cats and stuff like that. I gave them a voice to allow the community to know if they go on the website and you see Bowie or you see Pepper or Precious or something like that, you actually get to know them by their little cat bio because I wrote it in what I see through them every day. You know, gave them a personality and a voice, so it's pretty cool.
And it kind of seems like you've been with this program since the beginning. Close to it. Uh, I've been working with them around close to six years. It's you know been here about eight years, so yeah, quite a bit. I've been here for a while. I do what I gotta do, and you know, I stay out of the way. Uh, got two kids. I want to go home to my two boys. You know what I mean? Like uh, they're gonna be older. How old are they now? One's going to be 16 in this month, the end of this month, the 26th, and the other one, he'll be 12 okay. next month. So, they're, like, with seven and a half years, you know, they're going to be kind of somewhat on the grown man, you know yeah. what I mean? But I'm hoping to get a modification. If possible, I can be home in the next three. That'd you be know? nice. So I can still catch them, still walk them to graduation and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to lose that. You know, so like me doing what I do now and like trying to push this program, like this means something to me, like, so I don't want nothing to happen to it. So like me doing good and showing other people like, hey, this is something wonderful to do. You know, you could be a part of this if you would like. And that's, you know, that's what I want, I want to show my kids I'm doing good too. What's your favorite thing about the program? Uh, hanging out with the cats, you know what I mean? Get to hang out with them every day and uh, really just get to know them. They have their own little personality, so it's pretty cool to be able to sit here and just watch them and, you know, uh, hang out with them and let them come up to you and pet them and stuff. Yeah, so. kind of like how you mentioned earlier, you got to learn a lot about cats being here. Yeah, I've got, got to learn a lot about them. Uh, like, they got different personalities. Uh, so it's like this is Steve. Steve, I, I, you know, he's uh, he's the protector of you. This is Jinxie girl. She's kind of real skittish. Uh, this is Abby coming through here. Abby, she's one of our newer cats. One of the thirteen that came in. She's one of them. And they got their own little balcony. Yeah, they got a. You can stick stick that out like here. Yeah, that's her cat patio. It's a patio. Cute. That's Blinky. She's uh she's she's really cute. She's an older cat. This is Athena. We recently just got her in, through the APO with the program they have. She has I'm thinking the other one that looks like her is her daughter because she's two and the other one right there, Nix, she's one. And they came in here together. So I'm thinking that you know that's mom and daughter. And she they're really cute. So would that one be ideal if they were adopted out together? Yeah, that would be cool. Like if uh, if they was because they they came in here together, that would be really cool if if them two was able to be adopted out at the same time because you know they know each other. And where's her daughter at? Uh, oh, that one. She is. I mean, right there in the football. Oh. The daughter of Nix. And Y X. Have you seen this program impact um, other incarcerated individuals who have worked here with you? Uh, it, the impact's been huge. Uh, guys come like, you know, people, they got programs over here, so people come from other, you know, uh, dorms and stuff, and they'll come in and look and say, hey, can I come in there and, you know, pet them? There's guys who've been down 15, 20 years, hasn't pet not one animal. So, like, when they come to the building and they see it, they're like, you know, it's pretty amazing to be able to allow somebody that hasn't pet an animal that long to be able to give them the opportunity for that. So it's really, really cool. And these two were adopted? Miss Reinhardt has Mama's Boy at home. And then I have Clover with my family at home. She actually looks just like that. Cross-eyed and everything. <laughs> that little lump on her head, that's, that's exactly what she looks like. So she's, it's accurate. It's, yeah. She's this big and weighs 12 pounds. So this is how long she is. And so, yeah. I enjoy it. You know, every morning you'll come up and that door, you know, and you, they'll come to the door. So when you come over at 7 o'clock in the morning, They'll just be looking at the door and just, you know, they know that they're, you're coming in, you're waiting for them, and, you know, that, you know that they want some food, they want treats, they want loving and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. This is the 
just hard work. Hey! Um, without her, I mean, I don't know what words I would be at right now, to be honest. You know, because, uh, like, you get some, you get in a dark place, you know, and it's just like, you're like, what are, where do I go from here? And, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to have that opportunity. Wait, is my hair looking better now? <laughs> what are you doing? If you could just what introduce you yourself, what your position is here, and how long you've been here with the cats. I'm Sergeant Reinhardt, and I have been with the cats since 2015, shortly after they first came to the facility. And this is what we do. We take care of them. We try to teach uh, the offenders uh, how to care for something they can't care for themselves and we like to um, let them learn some of it on their own because a lot of them don't have a clue how to do that. And it works out best for them a lot of the times. They, uh, they learn what it is to be loved without any conditions and to love back. And I don't think a lot of them have experienced that in their lifetime. So it, you can see the change in them, and it's a good change. And then the, the cats profit from it so much. They're just an, the cats are just awesome. And these cats are available for adoption? They are through the uh, Animal Protection League in Anderson, Indiana. You can go online and fill out an application, or you can call them and let them know who you'd like to, who you're interested in. Um, when the, you do adopt them, there is a fee, and you get, uh, they come microchipped, uh, their shots, and they also get a uh, first visit at the vet. We do take donations, the donations, uh, need to be sent to the APL and put on there. It's for the forward program at the prison. Right now we need some new, uh, we call them cat trees, cat condos. Um, we can always use blankets, uh, toys. Um, the APL provides their dry food and their litter for us. And um, we just work off of donations for uh, anything else that we get. And then you think this would be a good program to expand to other facilities? Oh yeah, it'd be a really amazing program to expand to other facilities. Uh, it's given me an opportunity to uh, understand that it's not just about me. Uh, it gives me the opportunity also to care for something other than myself. Uh, I have kids, but you know, since I'm incarcerated, I don't actually get to spend that time with them and you know, care for them. So this gives me a chance to understand like, hey, somebody else needs me. So when I go home, I can actually care for my kids as well. So it's, it gives, it's taught me a lot. Uh, it gives me a lot of, a lot of uh, time to be able to learn the stuff too. How have you seen the program itself change? A lot, uh, because you know, like, like me working here for so long, I, I know like what it should be and what it, like what the expectations is of, from Miss Reinhardt or Miss Miss Chloe or the administration and stuff like that. So I've tried to help build it even further, you know, to make it be something bigger. So like we can shed light on it and possibly get it to every facility, like you said. Cool, and and you're doing it. You got that yeah. ASPCA award. Yeah, that that, that was huge. huge. I didn't get to actually attend it, but <laughs> I was I was there in in spirit, you know. So yeah. it was really cool. Um, and they said that we got a lot of good feedback from you know a lot of the people that was there. Yeah. ASPCA is a huge, huge thing. It's a you know mm. world. That's world a big thing, award. You know? So for us to win an award through that, you know, it was, it was huge, and I, I was I was proud of it. Cool. So shed there, light on the cat. You know, <laughs> get them adopted. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the public? Uh, if you if you can get a chance to come down and you know check out the cats and stuff like that, and possibly if you if you can adopt one, please do. You know uh, these cats are amazing. They're lovable, and you know they're just they just need you know just need a forever home. Cool. Thank you Thank for you. taking the time to speak with us. For sure. Thank you. I appreciate it.